It was summer. I was doing a photo shoot, and they wanted to do it in the forest. And the photographer had me put some lichen in a bowl, which wasn't one of our cooking ingredients. So in between shots, I kind of took a bite because I basically eat anything that I come in contact with. And I was really surprised. And what, what it tasted like, it was uh, earthy and mushroomy, a tinge of bitterness, but on the aftertaste, kind of sweet. And I'd been thinking about a new beef dish, and I thought, well, what if I turn it into a powder? We cooked it, dehydrated it, ground it into a powder, and it was amazing. The lichen itself varies in terms of its dryness, but it uh, clings to logs. We scrape it off. Of course, we scrape off dirt and pine needles and a lot of stuff with it, so when we get it back to the restaurant, we carefully pick through it. We go through a few changes of water before we even cook it to make sure it's like really, really clean. We boil it. If it's very bitter, we're changing the water. Uh, sometimes it's not, and we don't change the water at all. Sometimes we cook it for an hour. Sometimes we cook it for three hours. So what we're tasting for is that moment that the bitterness goes away. Then when we dehydrate it, what happens is uh, all the water leaves and the, the flavor really concentrates. I wanted to amplify the, the taste a little bit, so we wrapped it carefully. So the only thing the water bath does, it's very low temperature, very briefly. It activates the very, very outside where the lichen is, and then it cools back down and it just kind of creates a more firm crust. So it does nothing to cook the meat at all. The entire cooking is in the oven. And then just cook it in a pan, barely touching it on all the sides, and in the oven just turning it, turning it until eventually it's just pink and juicy all the way through. This is a time when chanterelles were around, coastal spinach. So I started thinking about all of these forest flavors, where the coastline is. There's ocean, dunes, and then forests like within 100 yards of each other. It's very dramatic. And so I took stuff from the, the forest right around there. So bay, wild fennel, angelica root, which is almost like a licorice flavor, very deep, earthy with a, a tinge of anise, and then Monterey cypress, a tree that we have near, a very distinctive taste, a little bit citrusy and, and green. And so I made a bordelaise, but not a traditional bordelaise, a little lighter, more direct, and fused it with the forest spices, and then a lot of acidity, so lime juice and a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And what that did was it kind of brought up all of the minty green notes. The dish comes together very quickly at the end. Meat comes out of the oven. Pan immediately goes on to cook the vegetables. Saute the chanterelles in a little bit of pure olive oil and salt. Add the New Zealand spinach, a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Taste it, drain it on a napkin, and then put it on the plate. So I like beef, that when you cut it, uh, it's a little juicy, but the fats kind of run across the top. I think it's more pleasant to eat. So we bring up the temperature just to the point at which it starts to be a little juicy. I slice it and put it on the plate. I would say the taste of the dish is very familiar and strange at the same time, but it started with the lichen and, and needing a new beef dish, and then everything else kind of filled in from there.